Hi, this is Perry from Solitech, and in this short video I'm going to be showing you how easy it is in SolarWorks to create frames. First off, we have a grid system. The grid system is an excellent tool to use when using SolarWorks. It allows us to specify one base sketch and then pattern that up in different forms. Taking a quick look at the grid system options, we can specify how many levels we wish to pattern this base sketch that I've created. I might want to pattern this in four times with the different spacing between each other. I might want to have the first level from the original sketch to be sitting quite high at maybe one meter. I may want to have the second section to be sitting at, let's say, maybe 800 or 600 from the second level, and then 800. Taking a look at that, you can see that it's automatically updating and it's putting in those changes for us. Now, what we want to do to make this into an actual frame is to apply some material to it or a solid body. SolarWorks gives us the ability to create extruded boss or base features and also a range of other features. Available to us in all the other packages, standard, professional, premium, is the Worldments capability. Worldments uses standards and also types and sizes to create and map across any entity the desired body. It simply uses a profile sketch which has been previously created by SolarWorks for us or the end user can also create this and use it over and over again. It saves a lot of time and is an excellent tool to use. Along with the structural member or the worldments features, it allows us to obtain information about each body. It can gather on our drawing sheet on a table the overall length and also the quantities required, which makes it very much very easy for ordering process. So the structural member section. Let's click on the structural member section or the feature on the Worldments tab. Taking a look here, we have by default, with this default installation of SolarWorks, the ANSI and ISO uh, selections for standards. Additionally, we can also download other standards from the SolarWorks content Worldments section in our design library. It's very quick and easy, and there's also a blog video on our website that you can also check out. What I want to do here is select to be ANSI inch. I'm going to select rectangular tube from my type and also the specific size that I want. I'm going to click on new group and select all of these edges or all of these entities that I've created previously. As you can see in the graphics view, we're delighted to see that there is a body being created using this feature. Zooming in, we can also see it's automatically at joining edges, creating in any mitered or any end treatments. We have other additional options that we can also specify for corner treatments. We can have end mitre, we can have a butt with different options. We can also have two different styles of end butt treatments. The good thing about Worldments is it also allows us to specify any gaps that need to be placed in for additional welding. I might want to put a gap in here of maybe one millimetre as well. And that's going to also update of how much material is being removed from this section, giving us an ideal cut length. Zooming back out, we're now going to apply to the rest of our frame the, the structural member. Clicking on New Group, we're going to select anything that is, that is connecting. As you can see, the process is actually quite quick. If we were to use any of the standard features available to us in SolarWorks, we'd have to sketch entities at each corner and then trim them back to have mitered, mitered corners. Once I'm happy with what I've actually placed on here, I'm actually going to click, uh, click the little pin to keep this feature available. Once I click the green tick, you can see that in the graphics view, it's updating with all those bodies created. And now I may want to create a square tube on this outside section. So I'm going to select the size required as well, and then select any groups All the way up here. Taking a look at my design, we can see that it's sitting on the inside of our material. I may want to change where this is laying out, but at the moment I'm actually quite happy to see where it's sitting. We might have to do some trimming as well to trim this back up to this original body, but using the, using the SolarWorks weldment tools, this is a very quick and easy process. I'm now going to collect uh, some more groups of the additional sides and show you what it will look like as an end product. 
Okay, so now that my basic design is uh, pretty much complete, I'm now going to untick the Keep Visible pin on this feature and collect the, click on the green tick. As you can see in the graphics here, we've actually very quickly and under about five minutes created this design of this frame. Additionally, it's a completely parametric or associative design, allowing me to right click on here on the grid system, edit the feature and change any of the parameters here. For instance, I may want this first level to be 600 from the first and make this one 800 and then 1000 and go green tick. After a rebuild, everything easily moves around and nothing actually changes and it's very quick and easy to allow for any design changes later on. Additionally, I can also go in the grid system here under this feature. I can edit the, the uh, master sketch on my design which has any of the lengths or any dimensions specified. Here I want to have in here, uh, instead of uh, 1.2 meters, I may want to have this at 1.8 meters. And then have my overall uh, 2.5 meters to be 4 meters now. Coming out of this feature, We can see that our design easily updates and looks quite good on our graphics view. Furthermore, what SolarWorks Worldments allows us to also do is capture additional information regarding the length of the material or the length of the, the section used. And we can have a look at that, at that here in the cut list section. But right clicking and updating this, it's actually going to check all the bodies, rebuild it, dropping this down, we should be able to interrogate these sections even further and have a look at the properties associated to them. In the cut list item one, or any of these cut list items, we can see that automatically SolarWorks is um, adding properties to this, which can be mapped in the SolarWorks drawing section. Here we have a length, where it's finding out the overall length required, any angles that need to be cut, and the description of the, and the description of the type that's being used. So that later on in purchasing, we can, um, we can gather the correct materials and the correct sizes needed. We can any, add in any other properties that are required, maybe like weight as well, and length, costs, and anything else that we need to specify here. Taking a look at this in the actual drawing method or drawing section, we're going to create a drawing from this part, specifying a drawing template, a sheet size, and simply dragging on a front view. In solo drawing, we have a lot of other options, but what we're going to add on here is a table. And this is going to be a table that is referencing to the WorldBank cut list. Selecting our view that we just created, clicking the green tick, we have this nice looking cut list which shows the quantity of the, the types required and also the overall lengths for these. Digging further down, you can also see that the sizes have also come in on description. Now back in our modeling mode in our part level, I'm now wanting to make some very quick design changes just to see how the lengths of our created bodies or structural members will update in the table section so we can make sure everything's associative between the two file types. What we want to do here under the grid system is edit the additional or the, the pre-existing sketch and change these dimensions back to the original. So 1.2 meters and 2.5. Just dragging the dimension out, specifying 2.5 meters going OK, hitting confirmation corner, we should see an update in our modeling mode method. Now we're wanting to go back into our drawing sheet and have a look at some of the updates that have come across. As we can see straight away, as we can see straight away, the view has automatically updated with the view that's coming from the part level. And as you can also see, the overall lengths have also changed and updated. As you can see, SolarWorks allows for associativeness between or parametricness between the files and also the different modes and features that are available. This allows us to create the model, detail the model, and then simply just drag on views and tables and other requirements needed for the detailing process. In the last couple of minutes, you have seen very quickly and very easily how in SolarWorks we can create frame designs and that how very quickly design changes can also be updated and everything is going to stay the same and update with it. If you'd like to know more about Weldments, please feel free to comment below the video or give us a call 